are again. Another beautiful day in Vancouver, BC. I'm on board the Axle Park 28. This particular one's got twin engine on the back, as you can see. It has the wet bar feature, which is really nice. Got a little fridge, a sink, tons of storage. You can see this beautiful fully enclosed cabin, radar, spotlight. But today I'm thought I'd take you live on the water. And because everybody always asks, the question is always about, well, how are these in a sea? And today, you can see it's a great rolling day. You can see the surf breaking over here on the uh, sandbar that's just off the Lionsgate Bridge, which everybody uh, from Vancouver knows. And in fact, it's so rough, there's guys surfing here today. Let's see if they can catch a wave here. Nope. But I am doing all this while I'm side to the sea, rolling around, actually not really rolling around at all. If you can see those waves coming, I am not really moving much at all. They just, this boat has a very low center of gravity, which enables it to not have be too top heavy and, and bounce around um, like some traditional cabin cruiser style outboard boats. And I am just so impressed. I don't know if you can see this wave coming, but watch it roll underneath us. Nothing. The boat moves slightly. I'm still totally level here. Oh, I got one. Let's see if you can catch one. Anyway, enough of uh, talking. Let's see how she does out in the uh, out in the swell today. Like I almost. Oh, there he is. All right. Let's go check this out. Moving forward. You have these nice wide gunnels here. Great bow seating. Even bow into it. You always wonder, is the bow going to go in? Well, here we are. Nope. Just so stable, so nice. But let's see how she does going into it. You got to bear with me. I'm doing this all by myself with a phone in my hand. So I'm just gonna kind of point and shoot and see what happens. You can see her speed right here as I go in and out of this screen. So let's, let's get this thing going. You can see the swells are getting bigger here. I'm doing 20 now. See that? Nice and dry. Going right into it now. Bow doesn't dip in. It's super dry. Doing 20 miles an hour. You could do this all day. See the speed down there. Let's go a little faster. Big swells here. We're doing 30, almost 30 miles an hour. 25, oh, just slow down here a bit, so we'll keep going. Third 28, you can still see these big waves coming at me here. Nice and dry. Look out the side here. I'm not getting bounced around. This is just on my iPhone, no stabilizer, nothing, no fancy camera work. It's just amazing, 29 miles an hour. Head into it, not a drop of water, except for some morning dew that happened to come on. Look out the side. You can see how the water just gets pushed right away from the boat. In fact, it's so nice, let's get open the door. Look at these swells. It's solid, it's smooth, there's no big thuds. There's nothing that makes me concerned. There's a big one, whoa. <laughs> nothing. The boat just handles it at 30 miles an hour. These are four to six foot seas out here. Again, we just watched the guys surfing. The boat is rock solid. That was a big one. Not a drop of water, except 
the water coming off the hard top from the morning. Pretty amazing. Did I lose you guys? Look at these, these are breaking out here almost. It is fantastic. I can beat anybody that's doing the Vancouver Boat Show today to come out in the same conditions to try this on any one of their boats. On any boat. Water just runs off the side. Some pretty solid swells here. I'm still doing 23 miles an hour right now. You can just see these rollers just up and down. Just around this log here. Here we go. It is awesome. So I'm just going to stop here for a sec. And I want you to get a sense of how big these are from sea level. <laughs> All right, I'm up on the bow here. See that big log there? And you can see it disappear as it goes over that swell, disappears, comes back up. And I'm sitting here really comfortably. Again, not getting rolled around. Now I'm standing, you can see that log go up, disappear in the swell, come back up again. This boat features the anchor package. So all the boats now have windlasses, if you like. Um, nice big anchor locker. Great bow seating. There's a table that you can set up here as well. And lots of storage underneath this bench and forward. Here's another cool view of this boat from here. You can see the fully enclosed cabin. That's the door there into the forward head. Right here. Very nice. It's an electric flush toilet. It has a sink. It has some storage and some hooks for your jackets. So yeah, yeah electric flush, fresh water, beautiful curved glass on this axle park cabin. It has a fully automatic sunroof. Nice walk around decks. And again, just like watch this wave come. We were just doing 30 miles an hour. And for the odd one, you slow down to about 23. But guys, I challenge anybody to find something. This is only 28 feet. It's not the heaviest boat. It's not the beamiest boat, but the space and the way it's designed is fantastic for our waters. You can fish, you can day trip, you can commute, you can do it safely, economically, and a ton of fun. And have something unique. This is a really unique looking boat. A lot of this is, is years and years and years of, of styling and design in the hull to make this incredible machine. Long waterline length keeps it nice and flat and stable through the water. There's no bow rise. So let's see how she does. We went into it. Now let's go with it a bit. Bear with me here for a sec. Man, man, it's so good. Sorry. It's hard to do phone and take, get rid of calls. Sorry about that, whoever that was. But now I'm beamed to this. I'm beamed to it, as you can see. And I'm not rolling. The boat goes up and down. Remember, 
all the beam is low, low center of gravity. The beam is that the, the beam follows from the middle of the boat to the stern, keeps it nice and stable. And I'm just, I'm just going along here. I'm only, I'm only doing 10, but we're gonna bump it up here in a second. But I want you to see what we're dealing with today. Also, there's no other boats out here, except the big freighters anchored out. As you can see, nobody else. And it's a beautiful sunny day. It's West Vancouver. Awesome, awesome day out here. I'm gonna head towards the Lionsgate Bridge. Gonna give it a little throttle. Now let's roll with it. See what she does. Okay, guys, I'm doing 30 miles an hour. Uh, you probably also realize how quiet it is with that big bulkhead in behind. I mean, I could have three, four people sitting behind me here on this big back bench, a passenger beside me. Everybody's looking forward. Nobody has a seat looking backwards or sideways or, or uncomfortable. Everybody has visibility. Okay, so here we go. Back into it again here. Let's go into this. Look at this big swell. And just ride with it. It doesn't bury into it. Let's go even faster. Why not? Thirty miles an hour. Thirty-two, actually. Thirty-two miles an hour. Following sea. Again, guys, watch this swell here. We're gonna go down, and we're gonna come up. There's so much buoyancy in the bow of this boat. You don't bury it. You don't go down into it. I could do this every day, all day. 31 miles an hour, four to six foot seas out here easily. And you can just see how it's slicing through. Maybe you can see some of them here on this side here. Open the door. Why not? Because it's a nice day. Fantastic. I hope I'm not boring anybody. This is just, I'm so passionate about this brand. And today was the perfect day to showcase really what these boats are all about. One thing to come see it at the dock. It's one thing for, you know, any one of us to tell you how good they are and it's seen, but it's another to experience this live during the Vancouver International Boat Show. And it's a nice late February day here in Vancouver, BC. It's one of those perfect days. I got the door open. I'm not getting winded out, but I'm getting some nice fresh air. As you can tell, I'm not, you know, the microphone is not getting buffeted in any way. But yeah, it's just awesome. Coming up to Lionsgate Bridge. This can be some of the worst parts of boating in BC is just getting under this bridge on a fast running tide like today with the wind on top of it. You can't see it, but these waves are really stacking up right here now. So here we go. I'll do my best to kind of keep this stable. We got a little bit of a surface chop to it as well. We just rode up one, coming down. Again, no spray, super smooth. I'm doing, still doing this 30 miles an hour. We're just rolling through it. There's nothing to it. Ah, oh, man. If anybody wants to do this again, come see me. It's Peter here at Freedom Marine. And uh, look forward to helping you on the water in an Action Park 28. And you can imagine how much better, even, even more fun than 37 could be, if you're interested in that. And for that matter, there's a new 22. Um, the new 22 is all based on the same hull design and and stability and efficiency that the 28 and 37 is built on. And uh, you could be doing this today too, not even thinking about it. So come out, enjoy it, have fun. This boat's actually uh, got a little upgrade here on the new cockpit design. So the new, uh, the new dash is what they call a Garmin glass cockpit. So everything here is test screen, it's all flush. 
and there's a layer of glass over top that you it's it's all touch screen and really cool. Got a nice little smell there, but it's nothing. Okay, I bet everybody wants to see how fast this can go. Let's try. It. I still have this door open, by the way. Okay, we're doing 46. I'm not even full probably yet. Jeez. I forgot how fast this twin 200 is. We have 5,300 RPM, 48 miles an hour. Pretty decent little chop out here still. But uh, it's handling it beautifully. All right, let's go. 49. Don't forget, we're going against the tide here. There's about a five mile an hour current behind me uh, coming under the bridge there. So we could be uh, easily doing it into the low 50 range. 53, just spectacular, stable. I mean, I'm not even holding the wheel. It just tracks beautifully straight. Very, very stable, at, even at 44 or 45 miles an hour here, 5,000 RPM. Again, add about five miles an hour to that, just with some current against us. Bring it back down. This is still a new boat. So, uh, got a little bit of uh, wipers here, just to clear off some of the little bit of rainwater that dropped off the hard top this morning from the dew. And that view never gets old. The skyline of Vancouver, BC, the Stanley Park, and the Lionsgate Bridge behind you. A couple of fun little, little things. This boat has what we call active trim. The active trim constantly monitors the angle of your engines. So you're always optimizing the fuel efficiency and performance um, with your own custom settings, or it can do it automatically for you. This re boat requires very little trim. Uh, I don't even know if I activated, I didn't activate it or even touch the engine trim, um, but uh, you can, I uh, should have actually done that doing your full throttle there. Um, but it definitely got a little bit more uh, RPM and speed out of it doing that. You see we're slowing down here. There's no bow lift, there's no bow rise. Just nice, stable. It's just, it's just awesome. This boat's got a diesel heater. Comes from the factory with that. It's an option. VHF, remote, bow thruster. These are really cool trim tabs. It's a nice feature. You're not trying to do two buttons at once. If you need to bow down, you push up. If you need it, if you need the tabs up, push down. It's all labeled. The boat's leaning one way or the other way. You just adjust it very quickly and easily with that. They've got defrost vents up on the ceiling. Automatic roof opening. This whole thing, this whole roof opens to about back to about here. So you can really get kind of that convertible feel. But even on a day like today where it was windy, doing 50 miles an hour, there's no noise. There's no roof noise. There's no buffeting, nothing. Get this nice curved windshield, big door. Again, lots of seating. And here we are cruising into best place on earth. So before I uh, sign off and go grab some fenders and get this thing tied up, just do one last walk around. You can see the nice big wide side decks here again. You get great storage on the port and starboard side. You get a sense of that with the fender inside there. Awesome floor storage as well. This has a huge compartment here. It's long, it's deep. Big drain track, well sealed, nice and dry. Back to these cabinets underneath the wet bar. Get lots of storage. You get lots of customizing on this boat. You can have a bench seat here. 
if you're just going to be hanging out and enjoying the aft deck or fishing. Um, that's it's just floating the terminal around, I think. We've installed a downrigger mount on this boat as well. So you can see how that's done. It's nice and clean. Doesn't take up any space. There's an extra rod holder. Your electrical plug underneath there. So when you're driving, you can easily come out in and out if you need to. And hopefully you're doing that a lot. You're catching lots of fish off the boat. You got a great spot here when you're netting. You can come right down. Be really close to the water here. Hopefully you don't lose too many that way. If you're trying to reach over the side of a high side, this is nice and easy here. We're pulling up traps and all that stuff too. Got a nice platform here to set up your trap and get it overboard. This has a ski bar. Which is always fun, pulling tubes, water skiers. Just see how nice and clean everything's installed back here. These are those new 200 Merc Barados. I'm standing right on the edge of the platform here. It's really smooth and it's really uh, stable. The ladder's in a great spot too. It's not tucked up onto a deck. You don't have to pull a ladder out. It's right there at the water's edge. So if you're in the water, it's easy to grab. Or if you, you know, accidents happen, if you happen to fall in, um, you can easily get out as well without, uh, without too much trouble. So there's another view inside the cockpit of this boat. Hello. You know, it's like driving a driving your SUV down the road. Everybody looks forward. Everybody feels safe and comfortable. Well, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna go park it in our basin here at uh, Cool Harbor Marina. Again, this is Peter at Freedom Marine introducing to you guys the 28 Axapar in real conditions that uh, everybody always wants to go for a sea trial on a rough day. So we did it. Take care. Thanks, everybody.